Hi guys, David here. So today, uh, we're g I'm gonna tell you about engines, like all the parts and everything. So, uh, oh, all right, I'll see you in the video. Okay, I'm back. So, this is the engine, and as we all know, the gas would go into the engine. The more I step on the pedal, the more gas would flow through the lines, and it would come out of the gas tank into the engine. And, well, there will be more explaining of what's in the pedal line, because there's actually, like, uh, the carburetors in there, that thing. Anyway, the uh, more you push on the gas pedal, the more gas. It'll This valve will open up, the gas will pour in. Piston will go down because the other pistons. And it'll go back up. The gas will touch the uh, spark plug. Make a explosion. It'll push the piston down. Go back up. And then this, this valve will open. And then it throws, it goes through the exhaust pipe and out the car. That's how the pistons work. And most of the engine. And I am now going to explain of how this system works, the gas. So I, I'll okay, so I'll be using pictures on my phone. I watched this video. And this needs to move. I'll just put that right there. Okay, so as you can see in the pit, as you can see in the picture, uh, that is your gas pedal. Wait, there, that that black thing, and you can see there's a line attached to it that goes to the carburetor. This is your fuel pump, which it goes in to the carburetor. That, this uh, brown piece right here, is actually the, this that uh, metal carburetor that I have. Anyway, that shield is meant for air. The more you step on the gas pedal, the more air will come in. And also, the more you step on the gas pedal, the more gas will come in, because this valve will open up. And then more gas will flow through those, uh, those valves in the, uh, explosion chamber. Anyway, that is the carburetor. That's actually what it does. It's for air, because, um, air and gas makes an ex ex explosion against a spark plug as you can see it, it attaches to the valve so the, the the more the valve opens up the more gas and air flow through it and the more we go into the explosion chamber and then the faster the pistons go the faster the drive shaft goes or wheels and then the faster your car goes on to the whole system of this okay so these are your pistons that's a carburet that's a carburetor and that's the the uh, little nozzle thing on cars anyway this this camera's lopsided i don't think anyone wants to see anything lopsided whoops okay so, I'm just going to lower this, like that. So, this is your fuel pump, as you can see right there. The gas tank. So, the gas tank will flow gas through the uh, pipes because of the fuel pump. Fuel pump will shoot into the other pipes that go into the carburetor. 
I believe that's what... This is their gas tank, and it's either this hole or that hole. Most likely this hole. Wait, no, it'd be this hole because when you move this, gas would shoot out of here. So, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put this back in my leg open. <sighs> okay, back on here. Get my screwdriver. Where'd my screwdriver go? I just so from the gas tank through the fuel pump and then into the carburetor. There, as I just told you a few minutes ago, would go into the gas and then it goes into pistons and then make it explode and then turn the the, the crank shaft. Yeah, but they're explaining every single part like this. Uh, this. Yeah. Anyway, um, so you know how this system works. Let's go into the next system, which I just do that. So the next system is with the spark plugs and electricity. So as we all know, the engine would have a belt, which turns a generator for the battery. And the battery would give power to the coil, which is this thing, but in this case, it's the, you have no these coils. This is actually from a 2009 Ford Focus. To be exact, my mom's car. Yeah, she lets me have car parts. I like car parts. That's why I'm doing this video. Anyway, uh, so the generator gives power to the battery, so it has more longer of a life. And then the battery would give power to the coil, which turn the coil turns into a uh, thousands of volts, and then the distributor, 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 yeah, um, would go uh, the the line goes into the distributor, which then goes into these lines and then into the spark plugs and then it, it makes the explosion. And I'm going to show you what is inside the dis distributor. I, distributor? Yeah. This is what's inside there. There's a rotor, which is this thing. Uh, these are your four uh, things, so you can see on one line, all four wires go into here, um, that battery touches this thing, so it spin around, and then the power would go through this little, uh, thing, and then every time it touches, one of these white things, those white things connect to the wires, so therefore, when this touches, the uh, electricity goes into the white thing, through the wire, into the spark plug, and out the, the, uh, this little tiny piece, the, the stick. And, uh, I know how that works, and let's go into the next topic of cars. Okay, so that was the end of the uh, video. <laughs> uh, I will have to make a part uh, two. So, yeah. See you in part two.